Hi, my name is Ron Shapiro, and I'm a transplant surgeon at the Thomas E. Starzl Transplantation Institute at the University of Pittsburgh. I want to talk to you today about uh, immunosuppression after kidney transplantation. Uh, in spite of the advances in immunosuppressive agents that have taken place over the last 14 years, comma, with the advent of tacrolimus, comma, MMF, uh, serolimus, uh, new antibodies, etc. Uh, and in spite of the incidence of rejection falling from over 40% in 1995 to um, less than 20% uh, by the year 2000, uh, half-lives have not changed uh, after kidney transplantation. Uh, one of the potential explanations uh, for the uh, lack of improvement in long-term graft survival is that we may be giving too much early immunosuppression to our patients early after transplantation. Uh, in our programs in Pittsburgh, this has led to uh, a reformulation of the paradigm so that patients are now being given uh, preconditioning, um, uh, most recently for the past five years with elantuzumab, um, prior to transplantation, and then uh, minimal immunosuppression with uh, tacrolimus monotherapy, period. Um, somewhere between 40 and 50 percent of uh, kidney patients, kind of both adult and pediatric patients, have been able to be uh, tapered to um, uh, spaced immunosuppression, ranging from every other day to as little as once a week, uh, period. Um, this uh, approach um, is still being refined, comma, and uh, a fair amount of immunologic monitoring is required in order to establish the safety uh, and maintain the safety of spaced weaning, comma. Uh, but this represents uh, uh, an interesting approach uh, that can minimize long-term uh, toxicities of immunosuppressive agents. Uh, thank you.